What's going on guys? West Coast Florida Fishing here. I'm Isaac and today in this video we're going to be unboxing the Vanford C3000 XG. So in this video I'm going to be going over a few things. Number one, I'm going to compare it to the CI4 Plus and see is it worth upgrading from the CI4 to the Vanford. I'm going to put the reels on a scale and compare their weights. I'm going to talk about the specs. And I'm going to get into a whole bunch of other stuff as far as what they upgraded from the CI4 to the Vanford. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, this is the unboxing. So if you want to skip this, I have a link down in the description if you've already unboxed yours and you just want some specs on it. So it comes with uh, your handle and some plastic. It comes with a reel and some plastic. Get that off, and there she is. She looks pretty good. I mean, it's questionable on the name. No idea where they came up with that, but she definitely looks good. You cannot complain with how she looks. Shimano always does pretty well with the way that they look. So uh, you got a schematic here. Um, that's actually the size that they start at. This is for the 500. Uh, you have some warranty uh, information in here and some manuals. Uh, this is your schematic. We'll set that aside. We'll see what's in this box here. You have five pieces of tape, uh, looks like, to hold on your line to the spool. And you also have your shims, which is awesome. So these shims are going to be for your spool. If it doesn't lay line correctly, then you add shims or remove shims to uh, actually fix your line lay. L, the Stratic FL. It's just as simple as all the rest of ones. You just put it in and screw it in. And I do about an eighth of a turn. You don't want to do more than that. All right, and that is it. Wow, that is impressive. This is a very smooth and light reel. I mean, this thing feels paperless. Definitely feels weightless on there. All right, guys, so this is the comparison here. You can see that that spool is taller on the Vanford, but you can see a lot better when I actually put line on it. So that'll be in the next couple of videos. I'm gonna do a fishing video and actually catch a fish on this reel. And so stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload that one. So I'm gonna go over the specs right now and I'm gonna compare the two. So we'll start with the CI4 since that was before the Vanford. So the max drag for the CI4 plus FB was 20 pounds. Um, the brand new Vanford also has 20 pounds of drag. So that's a good comparison there. Now the gear ratio for the CI4 plus FB is 6.0 to one. And the Vanford has a gear ratio of 6.4 to 1. So this is going to be slightly faster than the old CI4 is going to be, which is going to be really cool. It's going to allow you to pick up that line a lot faster, get that slack back on your reel so you can continue to work your lure or your bait or anything like that. You can expect this Vanford to hold just about 15 to 20 yards more than the CI4, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's an extra 60, 70 feet. So that's really, really helpful when it comes to those dicey situations, like if you're catching cobia on the flats and it's just taken all of your line, you have a better chance with the Vanford now. So you can see there are a few similarities, uh, but also some noticeable differences between the two. The one being the color, cosmetics and the Vanford, the name, um, those are obviously just cosmetic looks. Um, the drag has changed slightly. The handles look almost identical. Um, you can see that the main body looks, if I can get my hand out of the way, almost identical. Uh, you can see that this one is a little bit more straighter right here. Then this one, this one's a little bit more bezeled, has a little bit more defining uh, features right there. You can see that this hole here for weight reduction right there. Uh, you can see that the structure is pretty much the exact same though. So when we talk about sizes between the two reels, the Stratic CI4 starts at a 1000, goes all the way up to a 4000 size. Now the Vanford comes out with a 500 with this new model, a 500 size, all the way up to a 5,000 size, which is really, really impressive. That 500 will be perfect for shooting for trout in small creeks. You know, if you're up in Tennessee fishing for smallmouth or, I mean, even creek chubs. I mean, I fish for them better than nothing. Or all the way up to a 5,000. If you really want to take on some nice fish, let's say you're going in the bay, uh, right here in Florida and Tampa Bay, we have large snook and you could bring the 5,000 and have enough stopping power to stop those big snook. 
So on the Vanford, there actually is seven plus one ball bearings, unlike the Stratic CI4, which has six plus one. So where they fit that extra bearing is, yeah, I mean, I know you guys watch all my other videos, right? I mean, where I upgrade everything. I just had a video where I upgraded a Stratic FL to a Stella. I mean, if you haven't seen that, I don't know what you're doing. You can stop this and go watch that one and then come back. Um, so this one, they actually added two ball bearings in the handle. So normally it's one ball bearing up here and a bushing back here, so bearing bushing. But on this one they did bearing and bearing. So that's where that extra ball bearing came from, which kind of sucks because that takes away from one of my upgrades, but it's really good for you guys because you don't even have to do an upgrade and your handle's already upgraded. <laughs> Can't beat that at all, so really cool. Speaking of upgrades, I do have an upgrade video coming very, very soon on the Vanford uh, this is going to be so much fun to do. It's going to be very similar to the FL. I'm going to do a minimal upgrade, and then I'm going to turn around and do a full-blown Vanford to Vanquish upgrade. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really, really cool. Make sure you're notified. You got that bell notification on, and you're subscribed to my channel to watch that. So I'm going to switch over to the scale now, and I'm going to directly compare them as far as weight goes, and we're going to see exactly how much they weigh. All right, guys, so we have the scale. I actually just went out and bought the scale from Walmart, so we're gonna test to see how accurate it is. This is a quarter. It should weigh 0.2 ounces or 5.6 grams, so I'm actually gonna change it to ounces here. 0.2 ounces, perfect. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much right on the money, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off now and going to try the Stratic CI4 Plus. This is the FB. It's gonna say 7.2 ounces. So it says 7.2 ounces. I'm gonna switch it over to grams for everyone else. And we have 204 grams, all right? So one of the reasons why it's reading 7.2 is gonna be that line that's actually sitting on the spool. So like I said, we're gonna take off the spool off of both reels. And we're gonna weigh it again and see exactly how close they are without the spools because I can't really do the test of line Maybe I'll even take off the line off that CA4, who knows. Okay, so there it is, 6.3 ounces, which is exactly what correlates on the box here, 6.3 ounces, 180 grams. So we're gonna switch it over to grams now. And we got 179. So that 179 is one gram off. Shimano likes to be, oh, 178, 179. Okay, so it's right around there, 178, 179. Um, so we're at pretty much consistent to what the box says here. So we are going to go ahead and do the test without the spools. Give me a sec. All right, so I have both of the spools off. Now I'm gonna start with the Stratic again. It's gonna be 160 grams, which is going to be 5.6 ounces, okay? So 5.6 ounces for the Stratic and 5.1 ounces. Okay, so that's that's a huge difference. We're talking 0.5 of an ounce. So we're talking half an ounce lighter than the old model. And um, that's really, really good for those guys that are casting for hours on end, throwing artificials, and it's gonna be very, very helpful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch from the 5.1 to, I'm gonna go to grams for everyone else. And we're reading 145 grams, so 15 grams lighter than the Stratic, uh, oh, 16. So yeah, that is the scale. I'm gonna come back up to the live view here. All right, guys, and you can see right here some of the features, the new features on the Vanford. The Vanford actually has a taller spool. I mean, it's very obvious in the long stroke spool, the name, you can see that's a huge difference there. So that's just one of the new features on the Vanford. Another being the brand new Magnolite rotor. So this rotor is actually, I think they said it was 48% less inertia startup to get it going compared to the old CI4 MGL. So that's huge. I mean, that's a big, big difference. So it feels lighter, just the reel feels lighter to spin just because it's reducing that weight that it takes, the, that initial inertia. So that's really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put the spool back on. So you have the brand new MGL rotor on the Vanford. 
Um, another thing that it took from the FL slash Stella is it actually has a micro, micro module two gears in it, which the micro module two gears are crazy smooth. So there's a lot of refinement being done. Basically it, it reduces the size of the teeth and adds to the amount of teeth that there are. So it makes a lot uh, more refined. So another upgrade is the long stroke spool. Obviously we saw that from the FL, we saw it from the Stella. So that's a really, 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 really cool upgrade for that extra casting distance. It reduces the amount that the line switches back and forth, which in turn increases your casting distance. So you'll see an extra 15, 20 yards of casting distance with that. So the other thing that is really, really cool about the Vanford is it has X-Protect. So the X-Protect is gonna be in your line roller, which is really, really great because we do see a lot of those fail with the old CI4. So you see a huge upgrade with that. We're not gonna be fighting the line rollers anymore, hopefully, with this Shimano reel. Um, so with that X, uh, the X-Protect right here in the roller, we're also gonna get an X-Protect in the anti-reverse. And this anti-reverse is almost identical to the one taken from the Stella. So it's a really, really high grade anti-reverse and it's it's got the labyrinth sealing system. So basically the water has to go over, up, over, down, over, up, over, and then in. So it's a really, really difficult system for water to penetrate inside of the anti-reverse clutch and get down through your main shaft, through the pinion gear, corrode everything out. So this is actually, saltwater rated so you can take this right now out to the bay and fish and have no issues just making sure you're rinsing off your reels make sure you're doing it the right way so i actually have a video that the car is going to pop up right now i have a video explaining how to properly clean your saltwater equipment so make sure you check that out um, that is the best way to clean equipment in my opinion and many others opinions i'm gonna make the drag sound off for you guys now so just just get a hint of how it sounds. I'm gonna take this out of my chest. I'm gonna hold onto it here like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and spin the drag. So that sounds really, really good. I'm gonna compare it to the old CI4 drag. All right, so this is the old CI4 Stratic drag sound. A little bit more dull, it's not as nice to me, and it, this is all personal opinion as well. So now we're gonna get into the suggested retail price and if you should buy one. So the suggested retail of the Stratic CI4 is $229.99, this is American dollar. So the Vanford, the 3000 is suggested for $239.99. So you do see a $10 increase for the 3000, the 2500 is the same at $229.99. So that that's cool but you do see an increase here jumping up from the 2500 to the 3000 and i wonder if it's having to do with the drag stack i'm going to go ahead and take that apart and i'm going to see if there is carbon fiber drags in this reel like the stratic fl one thing i do notice is the drag knob is very sticky so when i put it in and i try to take it out you can see it's catching on that lip which is Pretty cool, that, that that lets me know that it's it's really, really tightly sealed to that drag, which is gonna be really, really cool. And what I'm gonna do is just take a little brush here and I'm gonna actually just jam it in there so it comes out. And good news, we actually have the carbon fiber drag stack in the 3000 Vanford, that's awesome. So this is really, really cool news. So this drag is going to be butter smooth. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that back very carefully. I'm gonna set this back in there without shooting it off, like I said. All right, it is all back together. So that is exactly why it increased $10 was for that drag, I almost guarantee it. I mean, along with the other improvements that was made, I mean, that just makes the most sense to me from a consumer standpoint. So this is, again, this is not a paid review. Uh, this is completely unbiased, um, I just, I have owned Stratics before, and this one seems like it's going to be a complete game changer. So here's the underlying question. Should you upgrade? If you have a whole arsenal of CI4s, do not upgrade. I mean, right now, these are so scarce anyway, it's gonna be hard to completely revamp your whole, your whole arsenal. But 
if you just have one of these and it's due for an upgrade, maybe it's the model before this or even the model before that, the CI4 No Plus, that would be a great time to upgrade to the Vanford. So if you're in the market for something around 230, 220 bucks, this is the perfect reel right here for you. So this is gonna do everything. This is super lightweight. You can put it on any sort of rod you want. This is going to be great for anything inshore, bass related. I mean, you can do everything with this reel. So ultimately, it's your choice. Am I gonna go out and buy a crap load of these? Probably. Do I need to? Most definitely not. So that was the unboxing and comparison to the Stratic CI4 FB. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, but wait, I'm not done yet. So I'm actually going to be doing a follow-up review on this reel. I'm gonna do it at three months and then again at six months and then again at a year. And we're gonna see how it evolves. So three months from this date today, so we're gonna be doing another video and I'm gonna be going over if I like it, what I don't like, uh, if any, and we're just gonna go over and maybe I'll throw a little montage of me catching some fish with this reel. So that's gonna be really cool. Make sure you stay tuned to that. And again, I will be doing an upgrading video very soon on this reel. I'm gonna be doing a fishing video very soon with this reel. So stay tuned. I appreciate all of your guys' support. You guys make these videos happen. Hit a like for me go ahead and comment what your favorite part about this reel is, or if you're gonna get one. I wanna know these things. I go down there and I respond to almost every single comment I get. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.